all a part of this person. <clears throat> Alright, we got TikTok. We got TikTok, one of TikTok's biggest fakest gangster. I've been seeing Buddy around timelines and whatnot, trying to figure out, like, who the hell is he? Like, what is he known for? You feel me? I was like, is he part of a gang? Is he part of something? Is this nigga a singer, a rapper, whatever? You already know not too long until somebody eventually gonna make a video about you. So we're gonna get into it. I mean, I'm already like two minutes in, but I was like, yeah, let me put this up. Persona that D Kane likes to put on. A tough guy who doesn't care what you say to him on TikTok Live because in the street, he could get you. The only part of this situation that didn't surprise me was that D Kane became popular on social media because of this personality. It was only a matter of time before somebody saw this mess and decided to take advantage of it. And that person would be called Lalo Gone Breezy. La yeah, see, I have seen this dude. Um, <clears throat> whenever this whole shit was going on, <clears throat> I'm not even sure what was the whole, the whole issue, what were they going back and forth about, but apparently the dude on the right was actually the dude on the left, a whole bunch of questions, and I guess the way, if just the way that he was answering it, <clears throat> it just made the shit hella funny. And so ever since then, he looked like he just blew up from that shit. Apollo is known for his TikTok roast live streams, where he will have people on and constantly roast them for the live audience. And Lalo saw D Kane as perfect for this content format. Previously, all D Kane had been known for was his thirst trap TikToks and fake gangster live streams, but Lalo would be responsible for blowing D Kane up to a much wider audience. And after seeing their first interaction together, I I can't say I'm surprised. Because those tattoos, I feel like it's just betraying the image that you really know. If you saw me in real life, what would you do? I'd probably laugh. <laughs> exactly. You wouldn't touch me, brother. I'd probably walk up to you trying to like pet you, you know, like, what's up, bro? Hey, man, I followed you back. Appreciate that, Galaxy. You wouldn't even get close to me. <laughs> I'd probably literally pick him up like that, hold him, and make a little video with my kid. You wouldn't even get close to me, I'd be like, you want to go to the shoe store? Nah, I'll probably buy you some shoes, you know, because you wear them size 15. You wouldn't even get close to me, bro. You could, like, you, like, you are the comedy, but you can't do comedy. Like, you understand what that means? Like, are you trying, like, what are you trying to do? <laughs> bro, you guys ever went to the store at, like, Party City, and they sell those little fake mustache, right, that you could cut in half? Why did his eyebrows remind me of that? It looks like he just cut those little mustaches and stuck them on. <laughs> The fact that you only have one tattoo and it's on your hand is crazy. We're gonna pray. We're gonna pray for the eyebrows. Did you, know? you feel cool when you got your hands tatted? <clears throat> Excuse me, bro. Have you seen my back? I got all my back tatted. Let bro. me see. Man, ain't no way you won't see my back. Just let the shoulder live. That nigga said, "Let me see. Let me p pull up your shirt. Let me see real quick." <clears throat> this is a kid argument, bro. This is clearly their like early twenties. No, no, I knew you was Diddy. No. Show your peoples. Damn, that cup is emptier than you, bro. I would watch how you talk to me, bro. Yeah, I'm finna do this to him all night, all, all night. I swear, I'm finna. Bro. Say one thing about ha me having my security with me. Appreciate that, Galaxy. Say. Hold on, let's go back and actually look at your security. Natalie with a money gun. Hey, I followed you back for that money gun. That's <laughs> my. Is that your bodyguard? <laughs> my security, bro. Is that your bodyguard you're talking about? <laughs> Are you gonna show The real question is it's the color coordinator for me, nigga. Who the hell dressed a blue shirt, red pants, black shoe, black well, all white shoes, my bad. <clears throat> I guess you got an angle monitor on, I guess. Ooh, scary. But nigga, who the hell <sighs> You lost. You are lost. So the picture that you were showing oh, her. Oh, no. bodyguard. <laughs> Rose body. Um, if that is his bodyguard, he look like he got down for drunk. <laughs> Stop trying to talk like. Me. Hey, hey, bro takes his bodyguard everywhere with him. Look, he looks on point. <laughs> hey, chat. Do you guys want to see his uh his bodyguard? 
He said he walks around with his bodyguard every day. He takes him everywhere to make sure he's safe. <laughs> are you good? Are you good, bro? Like, stop smacking your mouth, bro. We can hear you, bro. We can see Dang, you. Dang, you go crazy. Yo, 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 thing go crazy. Yeah, you know what it is. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what? Bro, oh my gosh. Bro, why are you gonna tell another man that your thing go crazy? <laughs> you just told another man you know what it is and then shaped, shaked it, like. Despite the constant roasting, D. Kane had grown on Lalo, and they would continue to produce content like this for the foreseeable future. Rhetoric like, I'm feeling sparkly today, or the ownership of his pink phone, were the things that D. Kane became known for, gaining more and more traction as the days went forward. But all of this notoriety had its consequences because shortly after blowing up on TikTok for his tough guy gangster persona, he would have his chain stolen at a mall. The whole thing was captured on video with DK not putting up any sort of a fight. Aside from that, there was another interesting aspect of the video, and that would be DK's Kane's ankle monitor. Are you tired of frantically searching for legal representation? Well then let me tell you because he does the table and let one qualify don't today and trouble before and even for being the sponsor of today's video he said that he had been in trouble before and even went to jail but wouldn't go any further into exactly what he had done and it wouldn't be very long until we found out why because very recently d kane was exposed for some absolutely disgusting things. D. Kane's come up was quick, but the fall off was almost quicker. Extremely understandable after you watch the video I'm about to show. What if I told you that you could block all ads or get paid to see them? My name's Brandon Moore. I'm an engineer here at Pi and show you. A TikTok content creator by the name of Pancho would have an interview with one of D. Kane's exes, an ex that he often refers to as his baby mama, and during this interview his ex would thoroughly expose him for predatory behavior, violence, lies, the list goes on. This interview would be so damning for D. Kane that I would have to blur out his ex's image in this video because she would reveal that she was only 17. Let me just do an introduction to you for everybody here that's kind of new. Uh, everybody, this is uh, D. Kane, Mr. Confuzzle's ex. How did you guys even meet? Let's start there before we start with the ugly stuff. Oh, okay. We met on Instagram. So let's start here. Uh, um, Ain't, <clears throat> oh my god, ain't nobody that's quick enough to, to put your laundry out than your ex, bro, trust me. Um, I don't mean, like, trust me by experience, I mean, I've seen it firsthand take, but, let's be honest, besides maybe some fake-ass friends that will probably put your business out there, ain't nobody willing to put your business out there faster than, uh, uh the spice, the spice. A demonic, <clears throat> delusional, or whatever you want to call it, X. Especially if you have a platform like, hey, come over here and talk, talk about, you know, who, you, like, who you the, mm, from the back, yeah, all that. D kid is how old by chance? Twenty-three. Okay, Mr. Confuzzle's twenty-three, and then uh, by chance, by chance, how old are you looking at right now? About to be eighteen. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So then, so then let me say this. Because some girls sometimes like to lie. So was Mr. Confuzzle Confuzzled about your no, age? No, that was never. People keep saying that. No, literally, I literally was like, I literally asked him how old he was, and he was like, go look at my famous birthday. So I did, and then it said 20. I was like, you're 20. Oh, I said, I was like, oh, I'm 16. He was like, okay, that doesn't matter. As long long as we don't tell anybody you're gonna be an adult anyway and if you don't mind me asking let, let's get serious here uh if you don't mind me asking what ended up happening he beats not only on females he beats on his grandparents actually too his grandma the abuelito yeah those those charges he says and oh look at my charges abuelito? two of those charges are from his grandma and his grandpa for stabbing them okay do. all we know is that they were drunk or something like that 
it got to the point where he we got in this one big argument and he got mad he actually broke my pink phone the pink phone that his whole audio thingy he broke that two he um because he got caught cheating what was like the breaking point as to why oh you, you oh, left dk because he wanted to this was my last argument with him uh -huh. we had to argue every day um my last my last breaking point was i had to go downstairs after begging him to stop talking to girls uh -huh. two little girls younger than me um to, um stop texting them and asking them for feed pictures no. i didn't even know <clears throat> i didn't even know it was that deep low like dead ass bro it was just a matter of time like when that nigga had blew up and i was just seeing him right and i was just like bro like who the hell like i said who the hell is he like what did buddy do you forgive me but i never really looked into it and now that i'm, I'm on youtube and i and i see it and i'm like you know what let me listen to this shit real quick y'all listening with me too like bro a whole wop 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 gone fuck it up Ooh, i haven't got to that point yet hold on um he fellas i woke up went downstairs and he's sleeping on the couch and there's a he's on the phone with a girl asleep while I'm upstairs sleeping after an hour. That boy on some goddamn that is middle school shit. That is living fresh out of elementary going into middle school shit, nigga. You sleeping on the phone with Joker. Mm. This nigga never grew up. He never grew up. Argument. There's actually screenshots that I have when I was with him, I was laying next to him. And girls were arguing with me. And a freshman girl. That's a freshman. Yeah. That literally just became a freshman. And his 23 year old ass was asking a girl for feet pictures. Yeah. He was talking to my own, own sister, falling asleep on the phone with my own sister, my stepsister. That's 15. Just for 15, y'all. Okay. Not only did she reveal that D. Kane knew she was 16 years old when he met her, she also revealed that he was talking to other kids, her stepsister included. And what is it with some of these <sighs> why is it so hard to go talk to a girl that like maybe a year older than you two years older than you like bro ain't nothing wrong with that <sighs> you feel me extra older too little no they know what they doing what is so wrong with that why do y'all you had your time basically and now that you're getting much older you them the kind of nigga that like the to... all of this gets even worse when I show you the clips I'm about to because I found an interview with D Kane by a YouTuber called Junior Stuber and this interview would reveal just how obsessed D Kane was with his ex. D Kane would discuss how they attempted to get pregnant, how she had just left him and he missed her. Keep in mind, all of this was recorded and posted before the Pancho interview. Look how dedicated this man is, bro. They were they were trying hard to get pregnant. Those are all like the used ones that, that failed. They kept going until they got lucky, you feel me? Oh, so like, show me. That's two right there, and then three right here. I'm sorry to interrupt, and even more sorry because I usually like to keep my opinions out of this, but that's just gross, man. You're just keeping a bunch of pee sticks laying around. Not only that, but packing them around with you to interviews. What's even worse is that this is the least of D. Kane's offenses. What's happening between you and your baby mama right now? Like, like, what's that situation looking like? Oh, my baby mama? Yeah, like, I know, like, you've been hurt online about your baby mama, so, like, what's, what's going on with that? Uh, we had just got into a little argument. She left, decided to leave. But after she left, like, probably less than 30 minutes, she called me and she was crying. Saying, like, I'm gonna come back later today. If I don't go back later today, I'm gonna come back tomorrow. She was like, maybe we just needed this little, like, these few little hours apart from each other. And I was like, no, you're right, because me being away from you, like, for a few hours just made me realize that. Have you seen her recently? No, nah, I haven't. Ever since she left. She left, like, four days ago. Did you talk to her? I'm still texting her, though. Calling her, texting her. She answered? No. Nah. She hasn't even, like, um, like, it's just on delivery. It hasn't even, like, like, it hasn't shown that she read it. But I'm gonna still keep texting her and calling her. It's a 17 year old that he's talking about this whole time 
that he met when she was 16. D. Kane was doing this stuff without a care in the world, all while he blew up on TikTok. But thankfully, people like Pancho caught him. After the interview with D. Kane's ex, his TikTok career would never be the same. People now knew that D. Kane hid something extremely dark behind the face tattoos and Edgar cut, and they would rightly so let him know just what they thought of him and what he had done. All of this would put enough pressure on D. Kane to be willing to accept an interview with Pancho. Pancho had been taking notes during the interview with his quote-unquote baby mama, and came ready with even more receipts. Met by a confrontational D. Kane and an even more confrontational new girlfriend of his. If the first interview with his baby mama wasn't damning enough, then this second interview with D. Kane would be the final nail in the coffin. What's down, bro? Uh, I'm your big bro. Let's just get that straight. What did you say? I'm I'm just confused my damn self, nigga. Start off the video. What's up, little bro? <laughs> bro, I'm your big bro. Like, it didn't... That's that AI... <clears throat> fee, uh... PC or whatever shit, bro. Like, them things are annoying, bro. I'm your big brother? Let's get that straight. You're definitely not. Take off your hat. Let me see if you big bro. Come on now. Oh no! <laughs> and, oh, hey, let me let me see your forehead. I know you ain't. Let me see your forehead. My forehead is right here. How long did you date your ex by chance? Why do you guys always tend to like whenever there there's this back and forth on a video? The man like, oh, just show me this. Oh, oh, take this off or like like. Why do you? Y'all need to stop. Mm, yeah, so it was like a few weeks. I stopped going live because she ended up telling me, you know what I'm saying? Basically, she lied about um, what her real, you know, was. Her, her age. Some some good news ended up happening. If y'all know what I'm talking about, y'all know what I'm talking about. I got some good news. So then uh, I was just been outside. The whole pregnancy. What? She lied about, you know, but I got some good news. <sighs> no, sir, no, sir, no, sir, no. See, then y'all didn't talk that long, but she me, was. You didn't let me finish. You didn't let me finish. Okay, sorry about that. Continue. Sorry about um, that. No, no, let's let's clear that up. Uh, you asked the girl for some pata pics, and she was 61 backwards. She sent me the video where she clicked on your Instagram and matched up to you, Lebra. So that's one girl. Aside from that, another girl sent me a message that you guys had text messaging, right? And you told her you were 71 backwards. She clicked on your number. I do have your number, let's not say. And uh, it matches to your number. So that's yeah. another girl. There's and a third the girl. Uh, that was about a year ago. Mm. So even if they were 51 backwards, uh, in one year, they don't turn uh, 18, right? Um, so that, that's some situations I do have on my page if you guys want to check that out. But aside from that, if you want to deny that, that's fine. What's the whole situation with your grandparents? Let me tell you this, right? Because I've been doing cheese for a minute now. You and your girlfriend over there, smiley, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to just end it. I'm going to keep it cute and simple, right? Because based off your answers, right, I have a, I have a few screenshots. I was just kind of waiting to see what you wanted to say, right? But I kind of know the gist of it, you know what I'm saying? I don't get five different girls clicking on your profile, your Instagram profile, where you DM them and they're under the age, right? You calling this girl right here a wifey, right? She's 51 backwards. Oh, hold on. We'll go to exhibit C. Wait, go back second. to it. Go back to it. Go back to it. Right here. Go back to it. Exhibit go C. Go back to it. The white girl doing it, it for me. Yeah, where does she say and her that, age in that? Where does she that say her age? 61 backwards. Where does she say her age? Where does she say her age? <sighs> Fuck.
forget this, forget this. Hey, man, you know what? Y'all yeah, make sure y'all hit that like, y'all, and hit the comment, bro. I don't care what y'all comment. Just, just comment something, you feel me? Um, Nice to get the backstory. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a motherfucker that be lost sometimes when I see somebody new on the timeline. But, mm, 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 no, nope, nope, sir, Bob. Y'all hit that like, though. One.